In 1967, the Beatles were virtually unknown, but their popularity soared after appearing on the world's first international live TV broadcast for the BBC that reached 400 million people. A new exhibition by photographer David Magnus captures that event backstage, and Belle Lupton went along to witness that moment in modern history once again. So Verity, tell us what this show is all about. Yeah, so this is a beautiful collection of um, unseen photographs by David Magnus, and it's concentrating on the day that was the first international live television broadcast. It was also when the Beatles recorded their All You Need Is Love. Um, it's an, a poignant sort of moment in history. It's um, the first international broadcast, so it's a movement for technology and also a movement for music, because that's when um, recorded music really started to come out. What does it show us about one of the biggest bands in history? It's the point where they became huge and became really famous. It's the start of Beatlemania. Um, and it shows you the times of the images. I show you the EMI Studios and Abbey Road. And it really gives you the um, sort of sense of the times and the nervousness and um, the importance of it all. So thinking about that behind the scenes, the, you know, the private moments, uh, there are some of the photographs over here that are taken backstage at that event that show some members of the band in a light that we might not normally associate with them. Yeah, absolutely. So here we can see John Lennon laughing and he was a very serious man. So it's quite rare that you see him showing such extreme emotion. I think it captures that he's having fun. It captures the sort of nervousness of the rehearsals as well. So tell us about this photograph where it looks like Paul McCartney is uh, writing some sort of poster or something. During the broadcast they wanted it to be very decorated, very elaborate, that's why the Beatles were all in amazing costumes. And so what they said to the band members, that if you want to do something personal, um, you're very welcome to. So Paul McCartney wrote a poster to his Aunt Millie in Australia saying, come home Millie, so it's very sweet. <laughs> so a historic moment, and of course in this first live broadcast there were quite a few other famous musicians around weren't there yeah indeed so um hanging around in rehearsals and in the background there's lots of other famous musicians and artists and girlfriends and friends of the band as well um, and here we see mick jagger at, from rolling stones and john lennon from the beatles standing together and back in that day you either liked the rolling stones or you liked the beatles you couldn't like both bands and both music so it's actually quite a rare photograph there was a bit of a love-hate relationship between them as well um so the um photograph is called the two titans of music which i think is very apt and they're both looking fantastic fantastic in their costumes. Is there a sense that a lot of this is about the mystery behind a band that we think we know? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, there, because, as I say, it was on the kind of brink of them becoming famous, it's before, as some people have put before, you know, it, everything kind of started to crumble a little bit. So it's really nice to see them together. It's really nice to see them and um, uh, capture those moments. <laughs> 